what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Karen so I am gonna be eating some spicy noodles I've been watching like mukbangs of spicy noodles and it just makes my mouth watery so I'm just mixing right now the little sesame seeds that it brings Okay, go to your room and watch your dicky mouth. So yeah, I've been wanting to eat these. <sighs> if you guys have been following me, you know that me and my kids did this challenge a while back, a couple months ago. If I find it, I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can watch that. Um, I do have some ice cream and a glass of milk but of course i'm gonna try to eat this without having to drink none of that and i'm gonna try and talk to you guys sorry if the camera shakes and i think the camera's crooked yeah i'm gonna try to talk to you guys um while i eat which is gonna be hard because it's gonna be so spicy okay let me take the first bite here That first bite was hot. Okay. So, for those of you that are new, um, like I said, my name is Karen. I'm currently I'm about to be 10 weeks pregnant this week. And, um, whew. And so far, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys how I've been feeling, what's been going on. So, so far, I've been so nauseous. I've been so nauseous. I don't crave anything um, specifically yet, but let's just say I'm nauseous and I'm like, oh, I don't want to eat anything, but I'm hungry. Um, <clears throat> and if you offer me something specifically, I might say no, but if I eat it, then like, I'm good with it. Like, it's whatever but I be so nauseous like pretty much all the time it's rare I'm starting to get hot it's rare for me to not be nauseous and this started I think once I turned like eight weeks about to turn eight weeks no I think seven weeks because it was like way before I went to my doctor's appointment and my first appointment was at eight weeks so around seven weeks is when I started to feel like this So, oh my god. So, I've been feeling nauseous. I haven't been throwing up. I do get disgusted when I brush my teeth, though. Like, when I'm brushing my tongue, like I gag. So, I do not look forward to that, but obviously, it's something I need to do. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> I also have to take naps. I do go to sleep early and I do wake up early. Early is like eight, nine in the morning. Um, I do take naps throughout the day. I have to because like the nauseousness makes me tired or sleepy, like when I go to sleep for some reason, I don't know. So I'll eat and then I'll go to sleep. <clears throat> mm. 
my face red. <clears throat> so I do take like three to four hour naps on good days. <clears throat> um, especially when I get my toddler to sleep with me, like take naps with me, then we really be taking naps. So I think that helps a lot with like me having a wake, <clears throat> me waking up early. So I take naps, then I go to sleep like 11, 12 at night. To me that's early compared to before, I will go to sleep around 2, 3 in the morning. Oh, my eyes are starting to get watery. Hot. So that's about it. Like I have, like I said, I haven't been craving nothing specific. Therefore, <clears throat> I don't really like to stuff myself either when I do eat, cause I'm scared I'm gonna throw up. Um, but I don't crave anything, so I don't get hungry. And then I start feeling nauseous. So then I have to eat something. So when I eat, I'm okay. Um, the nauseous comes back like 20, 30 minutes after I eat. So it really sucks. Spicy but good. <clears throat> so my kids are super excited. For the baby of course we all want it to be a girl but whatever god sends us we'll be happy as long as it's healthy and everything is good we'll be happy oh see how red i am And I'm so crazy because like after I eat and like the spiciness goes away, I want some more. I don't know why. They're so good to me. Mm -mm -mm. So a lot of people have been asking me too, like, do I feel, how do I feel like as far as do I feel like I'm having a girl or a boy? I'm not really feeling anything and I don't want to let my symptoms like make me think girl or boy because with my first boys, <clears throat> my first four, I had all the same symptoms, all like everything exactly the same. So I knew it was a boy. With my last baby, my fifth baby, things were different. So that's when I started to think, oh, maybe this is a girl, like I'm gonna have a girl now. Mm -mm. It was a boy. So now, <laughs> me being pregnant again, I don't wanna think nothing right now as far as, oh, it's probably a boy or a girl. So I'm gonna wait and see what they tell me it's gonna be. All right. <laughs> so. 
I'm going to end this short or long. I don't even know how long I've been talking, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Show some love in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.